to cancel it out and it allegedly resets your brain or at least makes it not as loud. Of course, it's not approved over here yet. I don't know if it works. Um, who knows? Um, anyway, here we go. Work. Hey, Bill, huge fan. Can't wait for old dads. I've been telling everyone about it when the topic of new movies come up. Oh, yeah, I think it's good. I'm really, really proud of it. Uh, I own a restaurant that my grandparents started in the early 70s. We have always staffed with young, we're always staffed with younger kids looking for jobs or adults looking for part-time work. We've been understaffed due to the last few years' events and are struggling to stay operational. Uh, we'll survive because it's all we have and we'll make it in the long run, but finding people to work in our area has been very difficult. We pay almost double the server base and our kitchen positions have had two times minimum wage since the 90s. I agree corporations are slimy and are probably feeling the backlash to their inhumanity. But aside from that, it's been clear that younger people are not eager to work. Um, I just think that waiting tables to them is like churning butter. When you can, uh, I mean, like, it used to be if you're a good-looking chick, you become a waitress, you make money making tips. And it's like, well, why do I want to do that when I can just go on, like, Instagram and be like, ah, God, you like this grass? And, you know, kind of stick your finger in your mouth a little bit. Um, <laughs> what are the fucking is hot chicks do on the Internet? Um, I think that that's what it is. They have – it's not that they're not working. I mean, they obviously are working. How are they paying their rent? So I think that's they're working. I just think old people like us don't really know what the new jobs are. Um, it can't all be in entertainment. I feel like they're like everybody else. They're always on their phone and they're always consuming content. So I imagine they're trying to get into that world because that's the world they enjoy. If I was a younger person, I would probably want to get involved in creating video games Make an app, uh, get in shape, and I'll just be your fucking personal trainer through the internet, and then I can be at home. Um, I think maybe like the combination of that, maybe, and like also they just sort of postmate foods, and no one goes to like malls anymore. I don't know. I, I'm too fucking old to figure it out, but uh, that is fascinating. I, I, I don't think that they don't want to work. I just think that they want a different job than the jobs that we had, which is normal. Anyway, 10 years ago, we had teens and college kids always coming back to work for us. I speak with many of the other local businesses, and they all have the same problem. Part-time work is not sought after. I've heard from frustrated parents who are customers that their kids and their friends have sworn off part-time work. When we do hire, they usually rep they they are usually reprimanded for being on their phone instead of working and quit soon after. I think there are two worlds of people. Uh, there's two worlds of people that don't want to work. There's always been lazy people, but young people used to care about making money. I've had applicants scoff at the pay which is higher than anything else that they could get anywhere else for part-time and no skills required. Well, obviously, I would think it wouldn't be if they're laughing at it. I would be fascinated to hear from somebody young to say what jobs do appeal to you. Anyways, I'm sure the tide will turn someday, but it's unfortunate that younger people don't have the same culture of work ethic. One new hire quit because he said we don't give them enough positive reinforcement after only one week. Please tell me that's a joke. I told this to my grandfather whose brain seemed unable to compute. Thanks for the laugh. Happy holidays to you and your family. All right, look, I tried to stick up for young people in that one, but Jesus Christ. You don't give me enough. I, you know, I really think that a lot of people can't handle being on the Internet and having their face out there. And I think of a lot, they're all like, Acting like celebrities who used to, you know, back in the day, you'd get your own TV show and then act. not everybody, but some people. Um, I think it's kind of, uh, maybe it's a, uh, a symptom of, of 
social media or something like that. I do know, like, uh, like you know, I, I tweeted out, I've seen it all after the Raiders thing. And then some kid wrote this joke, said, me, when I've seen it all, talking about, you know, what I've said. So, And I was sitting there trying to figure out the joke. I was like, I don't really get this joke. I know he's making fun of me. Does he, is he saying that, like, what I said was stupid? But the thing that I couldn't get past was the me. Because um, I was just like, well, what does what I said have to do with you? And I kind of feel like that's the disease that I see that I've seen in my business where you watch people get shit and then all of a sudden this thing happens with this, you know, not everybody, but, you know, let's, you know, some people, I call it taking the ride. And then after a while, you just really can't hear or compute things unless it's about you. Um, so, uh, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't think everybody is like that. I think there are a lot of young people working out there. But um, I know it hasn't been healthy for me to be on the phone as much as I'm on the phone. And then also parents are definitely guilty of using the, the tablets and shit, reward and punishment. Like, I'll tell you, my daughter doesn't give a fuck about Santa Claus. But if you go to take that tablet away, like, it is a Meryl Street performance. And uh, I've had to talk to her about it, going like, look how upset you're getting. <coughs> and what's amazing is the second if I go to give it back to her, all the tears immediately stop. So it's, it's just a performance. So I just have to remind myself of that. It's like, no, you're going to hang out with me. We're going to talk. We're going to connect. You're going to color. You're going to draw. You're going to do stuff that stimulates your brain instead of staring at this thing. I don't have a problem with um, with her looking at it because she's going to go into a world of all computers and she needs to be familiar with how to interact with them. But Definitely too much of it is uh, not a good thing. And then I also feel like it's a very, uh, everybody's just up their own ass about like themselves. Like, um, like I, my, my thing that I'm socially most fascinated with right now is the word woke. And how that word literally means something different to every single person that uses it. Because everybody just internalized it for themselves you know like I find it fascinating that white liberals took the word from black people and then put it on themselves and made it like a compliment of what a great white person they were and then they started talking down to white people in red states so now to them like woke culture is some annoying Hollywood white douche telling them that they're not living their life correctly and all of the stuff that it was supposed to be about, basically not white people, is all out the window, and it's just white people yelling at each other. <laughs> <coughs> like, I don't know. I don't even know. When somebody says that to me, like, I'm just like, all right. Nah, man, I had to get out of there because all that woke shit. And I'm like, I mean, I live in L.A., if you didn't know that, right? Um, it's not like you walk down the street and people are just yelling that shit when you, I mean, it's a fucking great place to live. I will tell you that. It is a fucking great place to live. The weather is amazing and all of that type of stuff. Um, I find more you run into that woke shit when you're like pitching shows and stuff like that. But it's not like you walk down the street <laughs> and somebody's yelling at you, hey, you walking down the street, have you thought about a transgendered person today? Like, it's, it's not like, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's fucking weird, though. Um, I don't know. I'm probably guilty of it, too, at some point, at some level or whatever. You know what it is What I realized? I fucking hate everybody. All right? I hate both sides. I just I just don't fucking like it. As far as, like, uh, liberals and conservatives, I fucking can't stand them. I fucking, I just, I've, I've, I don't know. Like, this, can you believe we're going to have to sit through another fucking presidential election? You know? Can they just fucking... And then Republicans just pick your fucking guy, and then that's it. Then everybody shut the fuck up, and we'll all vote nine months later. Stop with the stupid debate. We already know who we're voting for. Why are they dragging it out? For money, right? For money. The election goes into the fucking prevent defense. 